Hey, sweet peeps, it's your girl Rochelle, and welcome to your sweet connection. I'm back with another video. I know you guys have been waiting patiently, and I thank you for waiting. But today, in this video, I'm going to give you life and give you all what you've been waiting for, what you've been asking for. It's about to get real in this Apple game. So, what I'm going to do is do a three part video on the drunken apple. That's right. I have to give it to you in a three part video because I want to make sure that you get all details and the proper way to do a drunken apple and also when dipping um, the bottle with the apple inside the candy mixture. So in this video, I'm going to start off with the basics of starting your candy mixture. And yes, I am going to give you my famous recipe of the bubble free candy mixture. That's going to give you that shine. Absolutely. So we're going to get started and let's get into the video. What we have here is the supplies that I will be using to start off this video. I do have two cleaned unwaxed apples, Granny Smith apples. I have my candy thermometer. I have my 400 degree spoon, meaning this spoon um, can go in uh, heat up to 400 degrees. And I have my light carol syrup, which I've already put into the pot. And we're going to get into that. I have my ribbons. And I have two sets of vodka, which this is uh, New Amsterdam red berry. And for the record, I don't drink. <laughs> and I have the New Amsterdam apple vodka and along the side of these i have the food coloring that i'm going to be using this one is chef master's gel super red and i have next to this bottle is the wilton leaf green and i have back here one and a half cup of water and four cups of sugar and I also have my scissors for my to cut my ribbon and also we have over here the famous pot to go ahead and get started with our candy mixture so remember I'm going to do a three parts video and in this video I'm going to basically start off with mixing the candy mixture Okay, so in this pot, I've already put in the carol syrup. So in here, I have two cups, pay attention to my recipe, two cups of carol syrup. And also, I will leave the recipe in the, the uh, description um, below. So I have two cups of light carol syrup. And going to add in the four cups of sugar and one and a half cups of water. Then I'm going to take my 400 degree spoon and mix it well. You want to make sure you mix it to where it's evenly combined. Mix it all, mix it all, mix it all, mix it very well until you don't see like the water just sitting on top. So you want to evenly combine the sugar and syrup mixture. Now, it's so many ways so to do your candy mixture. It's so many different recipes I am going to share with you throughout this journey on my channel and, you, and and give you the different outlook 
on how to make your coloring, add your mixture, add it, add your coloring in the beginning and add it at the end. And we're going to have that all on this channel. So I just want to come to you and show you my way of how to achieving the drunken apple. Y'all see that shine? Ah. So I got that all in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the green. Okay. And I'm just going to add the color in the beginning in this video. Now you can purchase your coloring online. You can purchase your coloring at Walmart, Hobby Lobby. However, um, I'm just going to add some drops. Of green it really don't take that much but as you see here what I'm dropping in that is actually enough okay and also um, I forgot to mention one ingredient that's very important to add to your candy mixture so that your apples or your color won't be transparent if you look closely here you want to make sure that all your color is completely completely mixed in your mixture okay you want to make sure it's completely mixed in your mixture now being that this is an important tip because you have added the color you think oh this is going to be my color it's going to look nice oh it's vibrant nope not even your apple going to be transparent if you do not add a white liquid color okay the white enhances the color so what i'm going to use here is the white liquid gel food color by chef masters and if you guys notice i love chef masters color now as i add a few droppings to this mixture it doesn't take a lot of white as i add stirring it as you see it's getting brighter see that And remember, make sure the white and all the color in this mixture is completely mixed. And I'm still stirring. Completely mixed. And as I stated before, the white is going to give you that vibrant color. It's going to enhance your color. If you do not add the white to your candy mixture, you your apples are going to look transparent. Meaning you're going to have your color on your apple, but it's not going to be that solid color as you see here. Okay? And I still got some spots in there, which is going to cook down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit more white. You want to be careful with this white. You don't want to add too much white because what would tend to happen is your candy mixture will become very thick and creamy and then your candy mixture won't be any good anymore. Why? Because you have put too much coloring in your candy mixture and that's a waste of sugar, syrup, water, and product and supplies. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now we're going to add our thermometer. And you want to add your 
thermometer on the side of your pot, slightly going in the mixture. You don't want the tip to touch the bottom of the pot because the bottom is what gets hot first and gets hot. And if it's touching the bottom, it will give you a different reading than what is supposed what other other than what it's supposed to because we want to make sure that we cook our candy mixture to 280 degrees with this recipe or to 290. If your candy mixture begins to get dark, that means your candy mixture is burnt. Okay, keep that in mind. But I will also explain that to you in the next video. Okay, even though it's still some spots in here, I did add a little bit too much, but that's going to cook down. Okay, and keep in mind, every mixture is not always going to be the same. If you are an apple maker and you are a beginner as well, every mixture is not going to be the same. I have to give you that disclosure. Have to give you that disclosure because everyone think, oh, you got these perfect apples. Every mixture is, is just good. No, every mixture is not going to be the same. And there's so many different recipes that you can imagine. But you want that good, solid, bubble-free candy apple. And I'm the one that's going to give it to you here on my channel. So, glad you stopped by. And we are going to get connected. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is go ahead. And if you are on a hot plate... It takes a little longer to get hot, so still you want to cook this on medium-high heat. Cook your candy mixture on medium-high heat. Okay? So it's your girl Rochelle, and I done came to you to give you this candy mixture. And remember, I will put the uh, recipe down in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please comment in the comment section. Give this video a two thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And we will get into part two of the drunken apple. Bye-bye.